winning the CIT for the first time in Seward's history in 1964. We had we were playing in Seward, so uh, and then those days the CIT was played the first weekend in March. So we always ended our season with the CIT. So to go out a winner on in my last game, that's a that's a great memory. I'm very humbled by it because a lot of great players after me have have won that award and. Uh, uh, I certainly didn't win it by myself. It was we had a had a great team effort those two nights in Seward, and uh, we uh, we just played together as a team, and and I got the award. So uh, they could have given it to any one of the other seniors on the team very easily. Program the last several decades. I mean, I looked it up. We're going for our 30th CIT championship this year. The best moments were, were usually CIT. Those were always the most fun. You know, it's it's a whole different world when you come from high school as a freshman getting introduced to the G Pack and just just all the offense that comes with that. I'm just proud that at one time that wasn't what Concordia basketball was about. I remember back in the early 90s when we made the change, um, there was an article written about Concordia basketball um, and the headline was, uh, it's no fun to play Concordia anymore. We got there, we didn't even play on that Wednesday, so we ended up playing uh, five games, I believe, in six days. So it's quite the experience and quite the run that we made with that team that year. Welcome to the campus of the College of the Ozarks, everyone. Keter Gymnasium, the NAIA Men's Division II National Championship game. Walsh University from Ohio takes on Concordia from Nebraska. There is Grant Schmidt in his 16th season, their eighth national tournament appearance. But the guards for Concordia, Scott Beck is a winner. All he does from the point guard position is lead the team in rebounds with over eight and almost six assists per game. And his running mate, John Ziegler, very strong with his hands. Loves to get in the lane, penetrate, and score. The combination of two, they love to win games. Only five losses out of 37 attempts this year. Ziegler on the baseline oh, on the nice. other side. The day after, or the, right after we lost in the national championship game, uh, just kind of standing around in a circle in the locker room. It, it felt like an eternity of nobody saying anything. Everybody just kind of looking at each other, and, uh, looking each other in the eyes. A lot of teary-eyed guys, you know, that we came one game short from winning the national championship. But in the end, realizing kind of what we had gone through that whole entire season and what we had achieved. It was kind of a self-reflection as a team before anybody said anything. And it was, it was probably one of the coolest experiences I had. My locker room stories and the players know this, that uh, if, it, if, it, if we won, um, it was pretty short and pretty uh, uh, humbling and uh, and congratulatory, and if we lost, um, they were going to sit there and uh, feel the pain that I pain, that I felt watching them lose. Except maybe during the national championship. Our, our locker rooms oftentimes were connected to the where the officials were on the other side, and, and I'll, I'll never forget one game and, and, uh, in particular where we had a heartbreaker, and, and he 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 continued it on in, in the locker room. Uh, during that time and, and tried to get the officials' attention on the other side of the locker room. And, and uh, 
just, just the passion and intensity. We, we felt proud because it's like, here's our coach continuing to battle and, and, uh, and, and uh, you can just feel that passion. I know whenever we had a loss, Coach Schmidt was never gonna let us out of the locker room until it felt like the lights were off in the gym. <laughs> As a coach, it's been a, a joy to be back. Uh, I think uh, you, you, you have joy as a player and, and the fun memories and the exciting moments and the trips and things, but then I, I think you multiply that times, you know, 15, 30, however many guys are on your team when you get to see the joy they have and the camaraderie that they're building. And so, uh, I mean, over, over the years, just interacting with the tremendous players that, that uh, you know, I've, I've coached, but also the, the assistant coaches and the administration. Uh, certainly there's a lot of fun moments that have stood out, you know, from our Elite Eight run, you know, uh, you know, a few years back, but also first time that, that uh, I was able to be at a national tournament with our 2020 team. To win it, Carter Kent will throw it in. Baseball pass down there to Smith. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this. Look at this. Your crowd was wild. How to win and how to lose. Uh, during my career, we had two losing seasons and two winning seasons. And uh, I think it really uh, helps your competitiveness and your, and your patience at the same time. When I came in as a freshman, uh, it took me a year to really get accl acclimated to the college level. It, it was really uh, a lot different. So really had to step up the competitiveness and, uh, and patience at the same time. And uh, that, that was uh, a very big step for me. And as I look back, I'm, I'm just very proud as a coach of all the successful players that are now successful men in businesses and in leadership, whether they're school administrators or ADs or coaches. It's the relationships. It's the people that you did this with. And um, I look around and I see these, see these guys that I played with and they're they're family men, they love their kids, they love their wives, they love their churches, they love their communities that they're doing. They're trying to be excellent in whatever their field is. Um, and so it's just a group, of, a group of people that I'm a part of that um, I think worked hard, um, paid attention to detail, loved the people they were around, valued the people they were around, and, and that just um, kind of rubs off on you. Yeah, it's been really, really cool to get to know people beyond the years that I've played with. Uh, it's it's all a really, really great group of guys. I think, you know, the ones that I did go through it with are my best friends for life. still see a lot of them and get to hang out with them. And the ones that I've gotten to know more, it, uh, they're, it's so easy to talk to and you share so much of the same experience. Um, you know, you have the same values. Uh, you have the same same interests with basketball. There's always something to talk about there. So it's... Uh, it's really, really fun. It's it's cool kind of seeing all of the, the generations that it's touched and impact that it's had on so many people. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of history here. Uh, it goes back for me, myself. I mean, I'm almost 40 years old now, and I remember when I was my son's age, you know, seven, eight years old, I was coming to this exact gym watching, you know, the likes of Darren Engelbart, and Ryan Elrod, Elliot Ray, the Ernst Meyer brothers, uh, both Engelbart brothers. All the guys I grew up watching uh, when I was seven, eight years old, then to you know come full circle and play here myself, uh, and now I'm, you know, it's getting to that point where there's going to be kids that I've coached or my son even that's going to be thinking about coming here as well. So. I, I just want to say thank you to all of those that, that are that are here this weekend and, and even those that couldn't make it. Uh, uh, just just thank you for, for the impact that you've had on Bulldog basketball. Um, from, from guys behind the scenes uh, that, that are doing all this work uh, to make this uh, you know, weekend possible um, and, and to really continue the legacy of Bulldog basketball and, and the values here at Concordia. Um, I, I think a lot goes into this weekend and I'm not going to begin to thank you know, everybody that's been helping individually, 
Um, but I also want to thank those that were able to make it back and, and make it even more special um, to interact and, and share stories uh, and, and to uh, continue uh, doing what we're doing here at Concordia, which is to prepare young men and women for lives of, of service in the church and world, and, and uh, especially through this game of basketball. So thank you.